Hello, hello, hello. This is attorney Mike Gravel. I'm coming to you from Chicago. As usual, I just did a premiere, and in the comments, somebody dropped a uh, uh, reference to this clip. Thank you very much. It's fantastic. It's a sovereign citizen in Texas. Uh, it, it's it's really out there. So I I I got a hold of Ms. Deborah Davis, and she I know. <laughs> I know because we're going back and forth. She's on her way over. The clip isn't that long, so I, d I didn't want to start it without her. But it's it's so deliciously awful. I wanted to experience it with Miss Davis. So I, I presume that she will be along uh, in a moment here, and and when she when she pops up, I will uh, I will bring her in. Can you guys hear me? Okay. Can you hear me? Okay. In the meantime. It's not just a sovereign citizen in Texas. The judge is fantastic, but it's a female sovereign citizen in Texas, which put me in mind of yet another clip that was sent to me, which is a Karen in court. So while we wait for Miss Davis, let's take a look at this Karen in court. I think it, I think it's a good I think it's a good warm up for this. This this woman's out there, but 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 the clip is even better. Well, let's let's give it a look here. Somebody get this ham sandwich out of my court. <laughs> Karen's are delusional at the best. Ah, uh, there we go. There we go. Someone get this ham sandwich out of my court. I don't know. I don't know if Deborah doesn't know. Well, let, let me just message her. I don't know if she doesn't know uh, if she doesn't have the link or what the deal is here. Let me let me let me try one more thing. Sorry, this this is obviously thrown together. It's it's ready to go and it's short. It's re it's really good, but I just want her to get on first. Let me see here. We're gonna do this. Talk talk amongst yourselves. I don't know. It was sent to me in Discord too, so I know I know that some of you have seen it, but it's 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 also fairly fresh. I mean, this this just happened like an hour or so ago, and uh, it's it's so good I couldn't I couldn't wait on it. Come on, Deborah Davis. Oh, yeah. and you know if she she does get on, we're gonna we're gonna have audio issues. It's just it's just part of it. We all know it's gonna happen. <laughs> All right, I guess we're just gonna have to kick this thing off. I, I don't, I don't have any, uh, any material. I. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll get it started. Hopefully, hopefully Deborah shows up. Although it's not that long, she might be feeding Mikey. Oh. No, I know she actually. Well, I, I won't get into it. I, I know where she is. She's, she's going to her office, but uh, I, I don't know how long it takes to get there because I, you know, I've, I've never been there. I know. I feel bad. Uh, I, I didn't want see Debbie today, but I did. I did do my other premiere was was out of three B, and I and I did uh, insert one of my favorite Deborah Davis clips in there as as I have. <laughs> As is my habit today, so you know, well, let's just keep that between us. If she shows up, all right. She, she, the, you, you know, the less she knows, the better. Honestly, all right. I, I don't see the a docket notation noting that, but it's okay. Um, this this judge, her name, I guess, is Judge Livingston. Is fantastic. She is handles it really well, but she is hilarious. She isn't trying to be, but she is. <laughs> As this proceeds, your sovereign citizen is top left. We called the case on May 4, but not everybody was present. So I didn't take any action and um, I didn't specifically reset it. I took no action. 
So um, I don't know how it got back on the docket or any of that, but I mean, it wasn't by virtue of me setting it. It's really the point I'm trying to make. Okay, so so let me uh, let me just check one thing. I want to make sure I see an order in here related to the withdrawal of Mr. Ortega. So let me just keep, let me see if I can find that. I do see an order on a motion to withdraw nice. um, filed in the court file on 414 allowing um, Mr. Ortega. Yeah, yeah, this this case might might make a retire like today. <laughs> to withdraw from representation of um, opposing party. Okay, all right, well that's helpful. Okay, so uh, and you said that there were temporary orders in place? Yes, Judge. This uh, case was mediated on temporary orders, and Judge Deliata entered those temporary orders um, on April 14th. Okay, is there, a, is there a, a, a setting on the merits yet? No, not yet. Not yet, Judge. All right. Uh, I, I'm, I'm getting a, a, a note that, that Deborah's going to show up here in a little bit, so I'm, I'm going to kill a little bit of time for just a second. It's, it's, a, it's really about to, about to start in earnest here. The, the other thing to look out for is the husband, who is fantastic. He maintains that, that expression pretty much the whole time, but he cracks the smile twice. You know, I mean, imagine this man is married to this woman. You haven't heard her really speak yet, but just imagine sharing a home with with this woman oh lord and uh he he is just sitting there letting it all go down but you you can just kind of tell he's coy and he's just thinking thank god i'm not doing this anymore <laughs> it is fantastic all right okay has anybody raised any competency issues yes judge we have uh fought well we filed a motion for further orders, and I would love to have that set. Um, my goal was to have a setting today, not not for today's date, but to reset on a date that we can hear the motion for further orders and also whatever uh, respondent is um, trying to have set. Okay. Okay. Um, in what way do you intend to try to raise does your motion for further temporary orders raise issues of competence actually it does Judge, not it just asks back to all of these are my this is my property i own the deed for the vessel in question oh look who's here hey how's we it love going with deborah davis you know what you're here just in time Oh, perfect. Okay. Well, I kind of like got going, but the, the, in the beginning it was just sort of preliminary. What this is, is, is this is a divorce matter. I'm going to hit the back button and see if I can go back five seconds because that's all I want to do. Um, let me see if it does that. I don't know. Um, but th here's the background anyway. The, the top left, the, the woman is a sovereign citizen. Top right is the husband who is just so happy to be done with this. <laughs> yeah, he looks super thrilled right now. <laughs> So let's let's blow through this. I know you have a, I know you have a client coming. Thank you. And the like, court and has a record of it. I have owned these vessels since vessels. March the thirty first. Yeah. There has been conspiracy with Miss Alonzo and the court and the respective players in the legal fiction. Players got to play. You are trespassing on my property. So I, I I'm really, I'm really not. I, I'm, I'm not going to deal with your property in any way today at all. I, I'm not going to take away your property. I'm not going Judge, to do anything with your property. I'm not going to even. I'm not making vessel. any decisions about your property at all. None. Yes, there'll be no burning of the vessel. No, not at all. None. <laughs> so I, I don't dispute, and apparently no one else does at the moment dispute whatever property interest that you might have so that's not actually on the on the table for discussion today no one is going to make any orders regarding your property your your property is safe because i'm not going to make any decisions about it vessel's name the deceased vessel's name the corporate the corporation fiction is in question i own those vessels and they're trademarked I don't and think anybody is disputing that no one so the deceased vessel's name is in question. So wait, I thought it was a divorce. Did you say the deceased? I, 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 who knows what? I mean, she's they're going through a divorce. Probably there's probably some marital split of assets, right? And but she's applying all these principles to that. Gotcha. Okay. 
and and it's like it's it's good. And the judge is like, you can tell she's sharp as a tack. She's really good, but she, she she I mean, what can you do? No one is disputing that today. Okay, no one is disputing what you're saying about that. But that's not the yeah. issue before the court today. The issue before the court today is your marriage to Mr. Van Gompel. No, and right not. now, I have some concern about whether or not you are able to adequately represent yourself related to the divorce. No one is taking away your property at all. So I want to be clear about that. We're not making any decisions Mr. about that. I, Mr. Van Gompel there um, might, <laughs> might be on Xanax. And, uh, you, you know, I'm not making any accusations. I'm saying he might be. And if he was, I don't blame him. <laughs> I mean... If he had to deal with this on a 24-7 basis, yeah, he, does, I would, I, he doesn't even break. He's just like, whatever, I'm not in the room. It's okay. Yes. Or anything else. An American state national, you look at my immunity papers that are on file with the court. This court has no jurisdiction over me or my son. The judge oh. entered temporary orders on property that mm -hmm. did not belong to him. I exercised my right of rescission. What is here in front of the judge today is a motion for summary judgment. And I have filed that motion, and I said, I'm not, I am not here to settle it with Ms. Alonzo. My flag is superior, and under oh. the jurisdiction of the shipmaster, mm -hmm. which I am, shipmaster. who offers it, the litigation of the contract is resolved by the law Get of the country together, lady. of the origin of the contract. And I am in the law of the land. I'm not in admiral law. Does so you need to bring forth the contract or... right now. What's well, that? She, does she have an inside voice or is it just like I, I, one, yeah. one yeah. ship she, volume? She's not just a soft set, but she is angry. Yeah, like very. very I, I mean, this where poor that guy, child is. Though. This poor guy got this like when, you know, when he said, you know, what are we having for dinner? Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> like it, it, was, it was no bueno. That I have failed to meet. Or this case is dismissed. Okay, very good. I, I appreciate your position. So uh, I want to just, I, I, Ms. Van Gogh, I have listened to you. Is there something else you want to say after telling me what you want me to do? You've told me what you want me to do. Is there something else you want to add? Yes, Ms. Livingston. What else? I'm, I mentioned I'm here by special divine appearance. Divine. Follow my orders. Yeah, you told me that. I was asking if there was something else you wanted to tell me. My orders. And uh, to put you on notice that you were made aware last week and the reason you did not have a hearing is the plaintiff failed to provide me with the jurisdiction. And the court and you and Ms. Della DeWitt were all on the email and it's all public record. And I have provided you with that affidavit and I gave clear, I gave clear in writing instructions of how I would come with the jurisdiction. Provided, Miss Alonzo, Mr. Van Gumpel, everybody on that thread failed to provide it to me. And then I gave you the law, and that's an affidavit, oh and it's a matter of public record. It's done, Judge, because done. One, if you have not been able to provide jurisdiction, you cannot proceed. It's, you're proceed. required by the law, Very different than constitutional proceeding. law, to dismiss this case with extreme prejudice. Extreme prejudice. Okay. Extreme Anything prejudice. else? You had one with extreme prejudice before. <laughs> yeah. Can I get that summary judgment, Your Honor? I, I just want to know if you have any more argument because then I get to let Miss Alonzo have some say, and then I get to have an opinion well, about things. I just right want here. to know if you're finished mm -hmm. before we move on. I want to make sure that you've told me everything you want to tell me before we move on. No, I'm not going to. I reserve my rights without prejudice. UCC one three zero eight. And I am not going to be quiet. Because well, I'm not asking you to be quiet. I'm asking you to tell me if there's anything else you wish to say. Yes, I want you to open the judicial file, and I want you to see the claim of the vessel, the paternity of life. We have, huh? we have flesh and blood, which flows through us, and we are sovereign. And nothing will stand between myself, my minor child, and the divine. Okay. Very good. All right. Let me make a couple of notes. One is that the hearing last week on May 4th was uh, stopped. Or gotcha. not, no action was taken, as I mentioned earlier. The docket notation indicates that Ms. Van Gogh or Ms. Tony was not present. And um, 
and so we did not take any action and at all I didn't reset it I didn't do anything I have some concerns about the uh, the mental health and competency issues of Ms. Uh, Tony to proceed oh. on her own behalf because I'm not it's not uh -oh. clear to me that she understands the nature of the then, proceeding. I, there is no but question about my Ms. competency. Well, I was very polite and let you have your piece. I was very polite and let Ms. Alonzo say what she wanted to say. I'm going to ask for the same courtesy to be extended to me, please. Thank you. I have so, Mr. Your, Maru, if you could just mute her microphone, please. Thank you. So let me finish my thought here, which is that I have some concerns about whether or not she is capable of representing herself in the matter. Uh, Ms. Alonzo, I think what you'll need to do is research the issue and determine whether or not um, what next steps need to be taken with regard to the appointment of an ad litem or something else, I don't know, I'll leave it to you, but I'm not satisfied that, that uh, Ms. Tony is able to appreciate that this is simply a divorce case. The motion for summary judgment and the dis divine appearance and the discussion about vessels are um, unusual in the context of a divorce. How did she get unmuted? And, um, and so I don't feel like she Good appreciates question. what is happening Let's in the context the of the divorce case. I will not take any action <laughs> today was. other than to ask you to um, provide plenty of notice on what you think the next steps are. But before substantive matters are heard, I think we need to get through this issue of her ability to understand the divorce, understand the court's jurisdiction with regard to the divorce in the state I of Texas. Uh, based on and the pleadings and public whether or not she needs to have representation. I think they keep remuting her. <laughs> even finish yeah. the divorce. No. He's mentioned the fact that yeah, I think they're. Yeah, you're right. I'm, I'm just not, I, I didn't notice it the first time, but I think they're fighting back and forth. Like she's right, unmuting. Like, it's like, a, like a, a mute war right now. Yeah. There's some property totally understandable. that might be a property of the marital estate, and I don't feel like we should take any action um, regarding the finality of the divorce. Uh, because if she does have an interest in some property, I would want to make sure that whatever her interest is might be in that property is protected oh. and so I don't want her to be prejudiced in any way I don't want Mr. Van Goppel to be prejudiced in any way either but he has uh, counsel so um, I think you need to figure out what the next steps might be in that regard uh, but for purposes of today I'll not take any action uh, whatsoever because it I, sounds, I think I it's, can. It's, yeah. it sounds like she the the wife inherited a vehicle probably a vessel i'm sorry it, it could be a boat it could be it could a be a, it's probably a house it's probably a house that she's calling a vessel anyway when she's saying the decedent's vessel that uh -huh. and then when the judge is kind of talking about you know divorce mixed with some other property rights that she might have I'm gathering that she inherited something and maybe this poor guy is like i don't want your deceased parents vessel just yeah. keep it but she is going to harp on it and make everyone crazy around her yeah he, he just wants to get away it's yeah. it was interesting to me that the the judge just put it in her lap which is fine it probably is the appreciate procedure but the I judge don't know. Is it really, really like, i want to get competency but but it's laying it on the eternity to, to do it right i, I feel like once that a petition brought or something saying, i did not get paid enough up front to do yeah. this so yeah. no yeah the problem is though I've seen this time and time again. I don't think this this woman is crazy. I think mm -hmm. she's she's I think she's bought some some crazy stuff. But I think she will pass a competency evaluation. This is what people oh, don't understand. Oh, for sure, right? I mean, the well, and I guess I don't know for criminal competency, very high standard, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't know what you would do for general competency. Oh, yeah. Yeah, That's kind of what they're doing. Yeah, as long as they, even if they're totally wrong, if they can appreciate the, what they're doing and, and be able to conform their conduct during a court hearing, which that is where she's failing right now. Yes, um, it's clear to me if she was represented, the, the, the husband's represented, if she, if she was represented and you had two rational attorneys, they could go bang out these issues in about a half hour in a conference room, come back with an agreed order, and everyone would go about their day. Right. Then no, honestly, at my this mind. point, this guy might just say, "Don't give her everything. Just, just get me divorced from her." Yeah, potentially. Oh, oh yeah. Frankly, hey, and Jack. with that, we are adjourned.
Thank you. Oh, uh, I am we'll be in recess for about five minutes. I am confident <laughs> you have no legal standing or lawful. <laughs> Legal or lawful. Legal or lawful. And then Thanks. those four attorneys like, oh god, I'm still stuck in here. Oh. I hate like this, like oh. everybody leaves because she won't. So like yeah. there's a whole group of everyone's just like, screw it, I'm out of here. <laughs> Is she in her house? It's such a pretty flag. Yeah. She's got uh, an American flag, but the, uh, you see the color scheme's inverted. I don't know yeah. I don't know what that it's is, but interesting. It, I, I think that's her sovereign crazy. divinity flag. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, some some kind of other. All right. Well, I don't want to hold you up. Thank you so much. I I, I will tell everybody. I text you. I gave you like no no time. But I'm like this is this is a hot clip, which it was. And yeah. I'm like I want to do it with Debra. So I'm like, can you, can we do it? And you're like, well, I'm going to the office, but now I have to leave earlier. Yeah, I mean, I'm like squeezing this in right before an appointment. So you're welcome. That's awesome. I know. I know you got to go because you you've got an, uh, an estate client or something like that mm -hmm. you know the use just like right. after work work fun time you are the best we're, we're, we're doing a stream on your channel yes Tomorrow? yes uh, maybe something i know i need to do something i know get, i forgot it, that i have like together i think I have my friend's gonna... birthday party tomorrow it's like a 60th birthday party and so i need to like go do that and then depending on what time i get home i'm a terrible planner maybe friday you probably have things for you have your thing Friday, which by the way, I finally watched your uh last Friday one. It's pretty nice. I enjoyed it. Wait, wait. The, uh, fr Friday's Friday's just like uh, Friday's fun because I like let it go longer and then I'd like, well, I might have cocktails. I'm not admitting to it, but I might. I I, I kind of surmised that <laughs> from what I was watching. But it was it was interesting. So I, I did appreciate it. So and right, all right. Well, well, get, well, old Squishy Gardner. on your channel though. You've been you've been helping me out. You've been you've been coming over when I have a good. Well, good. I know, and I'm I'm yeah. I'm a coattail rider. Like I need to, to, to do some of my own, but it's so much easier and more fun. Just like pop on when you guys are doing something. So I know, I, I know. I've been on Legal Bites doing the Depp Herd trial, and I'm like, thank God, because they're like handling everything. Like Alita, she's really cool over there. And I'm just like, it's, this is really nice to just pop on here and just talk, you know? Right. Like, there's no planning. There's no right. need to, you know, do whatever. So that that's how I roll. But uh, it's been a very busy best. couple of weeks. So go, go deal with your client. We'll, we'll do it. We'll we'll put notices out and it'll, it'll all work out. Thank yeah, you, seriously. Yeah. No problem. Hey, it was fun. Talk to you later. All right. Bye. Bye. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. And I threw that together. I was I was too excited. As soon as I saw that clip, I'm just like, I just got to go live with this. It's too fun. It's just too fun. And then it was all the better that Miss Deborah Davis showed up. And I didn't get confronted about uh, using her. I know where this free lodging clip yet again today. <laughs> all right. I'll see you all soon.